So this question says, Keenan made 32 cups of vegetable broth. Keenan then filled X small jars and Y large jars with all the vegetable broth he made. Okay, so this is kind of giving me some translate word problem vibes as well as maybe a little bit of plug-in picture. Um, but I really like translate word problem because you know, plugging in a picture could be part of your translation. So I am going to say 32 cups is kind of what he starts off with. But out of this, we're going to get um, X... I'll put S for small, X small jars, and Y, L for large, Y large jars. But we know that X plus Y, right? X plus Y has to equal 32, right? That's, all, that's the only way it's being split. The next sentence says the equation 3X plus 5Y equals 32. Okay, so that's definitely going to be important. Represents this situation. Okay, so that means, what does that mean? That means that for every small jar, X, three cups. So it's, actually, this is not correct. This is not correct at all because this is a volume and this is a number of cups. It's not 32. Oh, these are numbers of jars. So it's not 32 jars. It's 32 cups volume-wise. So this is the equation that's actually correct. Um, so... I assume this means, or I, t I translate this to mean that for every, for every small jar, it can fit three cups of vegetable broth, and every large jar can fit five cups of vegetable broth. That's the meaning of the coefficients three and five here. Which is the best interpretation of five Y in this context, the question asks. Well, again, five cups of broth in every large jar is the only thing that would make really make sense here. So choice A, the number of large jars Keenan filled, no. The number of small jars has nothing to do with small jars. The total number of cups of vegetable broth in the large jars. Yeah, th that makes sense. Like if I multiply five times Y, right? Because Y is a number of large jars, then that would be, that the value of that would give me the total number of cups a vegetable broth in the large jar. So C is definitely correct. D, just to check it out, mentioned small jars, so definitely not what we want. So choice C is the best answer here.